So, thank you and welcome to this evening's meeting of the Town Promotion Committee. Um, do I have any apologies for absence? We have apologies from Councillor Alban, a family commitment. No apologies from Councillor Moore. Right, any declarations of interest? No. And so straight into item three, High Street Heritage Action Zone decorative lighting project to consider the HS House decorative lighting project proposal and whether or not the 2024-25 decorative lighting budget should be used for this project. Over to you. You. Chair, first. may I give a, you a may. board? Yes. 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 Thank you. Good. Thank you. Uh, so at the moment, our decorative lighting for the last 10 years has been supplied by um, a contractor and that was the provision of um, Christmas lighting that came in November and was returned in January and that was a large centrepiece and then um, uh, pieces that went across certain roads. And this is supplemented by all year round, um, there's festoon lighting around the pedestrian area in the town centre. And that festoon lighting is attached to a wire. Uh, it's, it's not held up on, uh, you know, the, the lighting itself isn't on brackets. There's, um, there's brackets and wires holding it up. This has had, uh, this has required no um, updating and maintenance or it hasn't had any for the, the last 10 years and when it came to um, putting the lights up last year it became apparent that there was um, there was work to be done upgrading and repairing uh, the, the existing infrastructure so that the lights were able to go on this past Christmas but before but they they, they need significant investment so whereas this year we're now out of contract with Lumalite, there's £20,000 in the, the, the New Year's budget for decorative lighting. But my colleagues have been, already been doing quite a lot of legwork around this and it's become apparent that before we even get to the point of looking at anything decorative and interesting, there is more than £20,000 um, actually just for repairing the infrastructure of the, the current festoon lighting. The project before you does not include the festoon lighting that is on the highway. Where am I thinking of? It's just the town centre, just yeah. the pedestrianised. So where else is there lighting up where the road isn't pedestrianised? So we have a little bit in King, Queen and York, but we didn't put that on the right. year, the last Christmas. Um, that is that is outside of um, this project. Uh, one thing that um, has become apparent is it's not appropriate for the technicians to be repairing the infrastructure of the Christmas lights. There is money uh, to be saved by provi uh, providing staffing assistance and the nifty lift, but actually the where we've got things attached to vary a variety of private properties and cables and things going over highways, we need someone. We need professionals to be managing this who can, can who can do stress testing, who can confirm what weights can be attached to these wires. Uh, this is not something that we should be doing in house. And there there is um, a local electrician that does exactly this with Thanet District Council and who we've been working with. And so this is why uh, the, the, the quote in there is, is from them but for the infrastructure work, but where possible using our own staff to, to, to support their work. Is that it? I, I, I think so, Chair. Okay. So probably best if I now hand over to Rebecca to go through the rest of it. Well, yes, so just briefly, um, Historic Kingdom were giving, given um, a number of suggestions after we met with Blacher earlier on in the year. Blacher are a lead, international leading public light, decorative lighting company with an a, a, a excellent re reputation. Um, 
they came down and did a site visit on, on our um, space, specifically the pedestrianised area. So we, we, we had some ideas of what we wanted to do, and we are restricted, um, but then this potential spend came along, and this is due to an underspend in the town centre uh, through their very last project. They realised it, it's actually come in well under what they expected, so, um, it, so that we don't lose that funding, they've given us the opportunity to purchase with some matched funding um, and obviously some revenue work that needs to be done. Um, these particular bulbs, which we we have, they, they arrived yesterday, they are an X hire system, but we did get them up and running yesterday, so we can show you them. Um, so the plan is that they, they, in order for it to look effective, we would order 112 sets, and that's, so that would be 448 of these giant bulbs. They are 50 centimetres in height and about a ruler 28 centimetres in width. Right, would you just go in? Do you want me to put Thank you. <laughs> I could have been. <laughs> yeah, you could have been the model. Yeah, I could have been. I'm going to pass these away. If you like, we can turn the lights off and, and plug them in just to show you. I'll show those down. Um, I think that's probably the best way because they, they look a little bit um, like a giant light bulb at the moment. Um, Oh, wow. Mm. Well, that's much prettier in real life than it is in the picture. Mm. Yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah, like so they come in set four. And the plan is that these lights would be on all year round. Um, and this is basically to bring a, a nice ambient light that hopefully makes people feel a little bit more welcome and safer in the town centre throughout the year. I mean, we're, our Christmas lights are only on six weeks, and of course, it's dark from about four o'clock from November to the end of February. So, what we would propose to do with these is have four on the end of each wire, a patina wire. Um, of which we have uh, 56 uh, wires going across the highway in the pedestrianised area. Should we, should we put the lights back on? Thank you, Roshan. Um, do you want to ask a question? I do. I would like definitely, and I'll just interrupt. I think that's brilliant. However, I'm worried about those particular lights. I work with boys, and issues and everything, and they'd take one of that, and that'd be it. They'd be throwing things at them, they'd be down. They're quite, you know, they're, they're quite a target, I'll be honest with you, and they look quite easily breakable. And I have to ask too, in the set, you know, if one goes out, can that be replaced easily? I just think of all the lights, you know, if we have something slightly small, you know the lights outside, Hornby at Christmas, do you know what I mean? Best lights in Sanic, quite frankly. What's that say? Hornby, quite, they're like large lights, some of us do, and they're smaller, but they're still quite significant. I would have suggested maybe something that was less of a target. If I, if I can just come in here and Rebecca can correct me, it's these or nothing. That's what I was wondering. Mm -hmm. I think I think that was the impression I got from Rebecca before, but I'd like Rebecca to, yeah. to carry on and confirm I, that if that's still the that case. I, th I think the problem is with historic England is they are quite rigid about yeah. when we spend, yeah. and they, you know, it's tenuous about whether we will even get these yeah. in Rams in England, let alone the country, yeah. uh, let alone Ramsgate, because they're being ordered in from France. Right. They are made from PVC. Right. Polycarbonate, um, but and they are IP sixty six. Yes. But they are you are right. Yeah. They could become a rite of passage yeah. for teenagers. Yeah. Um, there's always that risk. And um, I don't want to say no to them. Look at no. them. Sorry for interrupting. I mean, if it's if this case of that or nothing, then yeah, we have that. We have to try it out. Yeah. But I mean, I look at that and just instantly worry. I think we had them up. 
yesterday and I can show you a video and it was a similar height, slightly lower. We hung them in a, on a bar in the fire station. And yes, they are quite big, but mm. they're going to be up, they'll be five and a half metres up. So for sort of to the ceiling, you'd be, but still, yes. Yeah, I've just, um, I've just, just come to my place of work. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Um, <laughs> in, in, to answer your other question, it, the, the, the only way we could <clears throat> um, have a, <clears throat> uh, some replaceable ones is, and we've kind of thought about this in the actual 112, mm, um, mm. because in fact, I think it's less than 56 catenary wires, because we're going to put a few down the alley from between Half Bar and Krusty's leading to Hull, Horse and Groom, but we'll keep a spare set of four, but that is only four. Yeah. Um, you, can, you can only buy them in a set four, yeah. but then they could be replaced mm -hmm. if they do get broken. And in that case, just to um, add a question to that, let's say some do get broken, um, would we be able to shrink the, the extent so uh, you know yes. bring some in from like that end of king street and then that end of queen street get rid of those and bring yes. them in so i mean it might be a diminishing project yes. like but um you know we, i mean, part of me I, I do completely understand where you're coming from but it's also if we don't try are, are we are we going to let the fear of 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 vandalism stop us from doing it, and I think it was, that's um, it's funny to me because I think it's not the fear of vandalism stopping us from doing it, I was just seeing if there was anything that was more appropriate. Mm, yeah, you know what I mean? so yes, yeah, like, yeah, because it's a waste of money. It's not a fear of vandalism, it's sorry, like, they're going to yeah. go really quickly. Could we have something that would be slightly mm. have better longevity? But if we can't, we can't. No, and um, we are restricted about the height as well. And in fact, I'm, I still waiting for clarification from Kent County Council. I believe if we can fix them the way we discussed yesterday with um, Saunders, mm. um, who came and assessed them for us as mm. well, um, we will pass the height restrictions that we have. Mm. So our activity is at six metres. These will be about 55 <laughs> with the um, carabiner that's on top and the connector. Um, it should be enough clearance, but it, it does, it is slightly different per count, in each county. I believe it's between 5.2 and 5.4 metres for the Poundland lorry, for example. Mm -hmm. um, if I can just bring the town clerk in. Thank you, Chair. Uh, j just very briefly, it, it has been presented to us as this is what so, you will have. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. In which case, uh, you know, when it comes to the vote, I say yes. yes and yes, my colleagues have tried yeah. finding alternative yes. uh, yeah. things that would be acceptable to historic England. And no, this is this okay. is the offer on the table. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I think my, my inclination at this stage, then when firstly, because I'm conscious I've not really looked over this <laughs> side of the room, I've, I've been looking over here. Has anyone over here got any other questions or anything else to, to add about these lights? No, I think. I think it's, it, it, it would look really nice, but then again, you know, what uh, Amory said. Uh, uh, yeah, I, know, I mean, it, it is. But if we can't do anything yeah. else, yeah. 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 We, 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 I am happy to have them. Yeah, yeah. it is a one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insurance, presumably, we'll have insurance if they are broken. Yes, there is something somewhere in one of these documents that refers to insurance as well. It's a word. Um, word yeah. Um, but. Right. So, can I, sorry, yeah. can I have a question again, Mr. Town Clerk, if I may. So, so we are basically being um, offered this money to use up with these lights. Leave it. That's absolutely fine. I'm with that. Um, costs extra to us. Yeah. Uh, so the part of our contribution is um, staffing hours. Mm -hmm. But we should consider that this project is going to absorb all of the £20,000 that we've got put aside mm -hmm. for decorative lighting mm -hmm. in the next year. And there are certain things, for example, at the moment, our festoons are multicoloured. Mm -hmm. And actually the, the multicoloured lighting, sitting with this, it's... It, it could well be that's desirable to uh, to 
change our, our festoons over to uh, uh, like a, a warm, a warm yeah. colour. Hmm. Um, also, if these are going to be up all year round, there isn't going to be what are we? What's going to be the big turn on yeah. at Christmas? Yeah. It could well be that in the course of the next year. The, the the committee requests that you know there's maybe some more some other money somewhere else in the budget that that's moved over for decorative lighting um within the town promotion budgets or elsewhere in the council budget but there's no con it can't be confirmed where the council would per permit that to happen mm -hmm. so um I'm glad you mentioned that because that was in my next question um, to Rebecca. I know you said to me about it, the, these are warm lights and, and some of our other lights are not warm lights and so there, there could be a sense of a, a bit of a disconnect in it. Um, I'm j What's the likelihood that we're going to have to replace our existing lights anyway? What's the likelihood that we will replace, need to replace our existing lights so that they fit in with these um, and what's the likely cost of that going to be i realize that i sprung that on you and you probably haven't got answers but well, I, I did speak to lumalight who are the company we've worked with for the last 10 years um, yesterday and also they replied in an email today um, to replace the warm white bulbs and we'd need around a thousand 800 to 1,000, um, there it comes in around 3,700 pounds. Okay, that's not the wire, that's actually not just bulbs. bulbs. Mm -hmm. um, I have, but remember our... our um, they, Would our wire take those bulbs then? Uh, the the harness the wood, yeah. because it's um, replacing with a company that supplied it. Right. So, but we have got a quote from Blacher for a slightly different festoon, it may be, may be on a par with Hornby. with Hornby in that there's five bulbs per metre. At the moment we have one bulb per metre. Mm -hmm. So they have given us a quote for that. And this is something that, just if it's okay to mention this, um, Historic England would consider this or that. Mm -hmm. But at the moment they have indicated that they wouldn't consider both. Mm. Um, but I guess in a way that largely depends on how much matched we are doing and compared to the amount that they've suggested they will um, fund up to. Mm. And the, the quote from Blacher, and this would be for the five warm lights for every metre, mm. um, comes in at... I don't need glasses. <laughs> uh, 13... 13326 or 13126. But, and that's with the wire, because it obviously would be with everything. Yes. So it would need to be to get the wires as yeah. well. Uh, so obviously that's a lot more than just replacing the bulbs, but we would get a better product in terms of how much it illuminates. Yes. Mm. But we could replace the bulbs within 4K. Three seven, you said. I always round things up. Mm -hmm. And can I ask, what would we do with the if we were doing the warm white? What would we do with the bulbs? <coughs> I have asked if they would, because we have got a lot of spares as well, yeah. seven hundred. Yeah. I asked the company today if they could perhaps do a part exchange, and she came back and said no. Okay. But I have said perhaps I could have a conversation with the manager, and we've been a long-standing customer. Yeah. And all that, so I'm waiting to hear back. But if we had to, we have. That we could use those in Radford House and other places for various mm. things, couldn't we? So we'd have them there yeah. as part of our. I, I think when um, Rebecca and I spoke about this originally, that was one of the, the things that we talked about was. Yeah. So I just throw them away, obviously. Oh, and I'm not, you won't see, you won't begin to suggest that, I realise, but you know, we could save yeah. juices for them. So either way, you know, if we can, if we can get any refunds, great. But if we can't, then um, we'll use them somewhere else. Sorry. Sorry. 
Um, does it, it include so it says applications for Harbour Street, High Street, King Street, Queen Street? It, it, no, it's the pedestrian. So where are the pedestrianisation areas? The lights will end. So that it is purely the pedestrian because we had that conversation earlier. <laughs> yeah. It's so, and that when I say about if there are breakages and and even with age, if you know if there are sort of you know things happen or whatever. Um, so over time, then we could shrink in, like we could take mm. out Queen Street, King Street, so it just went straight down. So you know they would mm. to to give greater long, longevity to the to the lights as they are, um, if yeah, we wanted to. Good question. <laughs> they're, they're guaranteed for two seasons, and there is a slight issue in that as well because historic England like things to be guaranteed for three years. I was going to say two seasons isn't up all year, it's only two seasons effectively isn't a year in reality, is it? And we are planning on having them on all year. I mean, yeah. in terms of yeah, light hours, it's exactly. significant, but. Um, hmm. Well, that's an so, 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 it's going to cost us money to replace them when they <coughs> you know, don't work anymore. Sure. Okay. Yes. So, when you talked about the warm whites from this company, you said that it's an alternative that Historic England would be looking into, you know, but do you mean, so we do have a choice, it's these or these? There is, technically, yes, they would But consider. funding and everything, is it, is it better for us if we have those? It, Get my head around the money. Yes, I, I, because it is all related to exactly. that capital spend. Yes, yes. yes. So, in, in terms of um, the festoons, to replace all of our festoons, yeah. and just to also say, it is, you can just back me up here, in terms of the amount of staff and expertise yeah. we'd need, it would be sensible if we were, for example, to say we could do both, yes. to do them at the same time, otherwise we're going to have double the, the staffing costs yes. in terms of external contractors. So, which goes to my question previously was to and what's the cost to us so really truthfully forget the, the staffing hours because i think that that just comes as part of the course of what we do as a council do you know what i mean so let's not think of that as extra but in terms of purchasing so we've got the 20 grand that we've set aside well fair enough that's got to do with the infrastructure this is sort of like a freebie as it were but then we've got to find in effect 13 grand or three and a half to re just replace the bulbs. Right. And uh, and also, what about the cost of the um, the professional electricians? Uh, yes, apologies. That's, that's what I meant when I, I meant the external contractors. The cost that we have in from the um, <coughs> town clerk has set out and what is would that be on a par to yes. to go back up and replace the festivities. Yes. And what is that? Um, town clerk, sorry. She says, I could put myself, maybe. How lazy am I? Sorry. <laughs> right, so. Sorry, Mike. Yes, yeah, so 50 grand. Uh, so at the moment, it's a, a net cost of 32,882. What's that for? So this. For enabling works in the. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not, not on the right page yet. Yeah, we believe this quote is high. Uh, it's, it's a quote to basically replace all of the existing infrastructure. And it may well be that once they're up on a nifty lift and looking at things, it could be less. If, may I ask a colleague? Mm, please do. The, the quote for of £3,000 plus to go around replacing individual bulbs, what would the... In, what would, mechanics of doing that look like to actually replace how many bulbs? Um, we think it's around 800. 800 bulbs mm -hmm. above the highway, one at a time, unscrewing them, screwing them back in. Can I? So if we change the bulbs, it would be in conjunction with um, Charles Tom's company. Mm -hmm. It's Saunders. Saunders taking down the festoons 
while they're replacing the catena ring, oh, we'd replace the bulbs right. and then they'd install the new big lights mm -hmm. and the festoon back up again. Right. So, again, another question, just so I'm, I'm, I'm being thick here. No, you're not. It's, um, it is complicated. So, this um, gross cost of you know the total, is that all the money that we'd be getting? It's not just the lights. We're not getting. We're not having to find that as well. The installation costs. Yeah. So effectively, this project is is that's the money that we'd be getting in on it, mm -hmm. and then we're finding the twenty grand, obviously, and three and a half if we were to break, replace the bulbs. So we're yes. not finding the installation costs. Thanks, <laughs> So we need to contribute twenty one thousand four hundred and eight twenty eight pounds. Yes. Of which is five thousand five hundred pounds our staffing time. Yes. So if we deduct uh, deduct that from the twenty one four to eight. So there's about sixteen thousand pounds to actually leave our bank account. Yes. That theoretically leaves four thousand. To pay for the those those lots bulbs. What I've, so we could do it that way, or I think possibly if we think that the electrical enabling works could come in less. If it comes in a lot less, ten thousand less. Push for. The the yeah. lights the the new festoons yeah. plus those. Ooh. So I propose. Well, it does. I'm just let me before let me just read this out. A proportionate reduction will be made in the grant if the actual cost of the works is less than the estimated cost on which the grant calculation was based. Mm -hmm. So would trying to do that kick in that mm -hmm. sentence? Um, if. Uh, TDC and Historic England accepted that we were going to make up the cost uh, by purchasing the, the additional festoon lights. If the electrical enabling works come down, there is a possibility that the High Street has grant is also going to come down, but our contribution will also come down. Yeah. But I think we do have, whatever happens, still 4,000 left in our budget to well, the bulbs. to do replacement mm. bulbs. Yeah. I'm going to make a proposal, guys. Is that okay? So I propose that we accept the kind of offer that we've been given and work with it as best we can to get the best value for money. How would you want to phrase that? So we say yes to this. If we have to use the you know four grand bulbs, we do that. And if we can make it better, then we'll do that. Ten parts going to read that out in a beautifully <laughs> articulate um, sentence for me. I think hasn't been made. <laughs> Sorry, yes, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so to. Uh, except the High Street has grant under section 79 and 80 of the Planning Act. <laughs> <coughs> and additionally, use Ramsgate Town Council's budget to purchase up to £4,000 of warm lighting to be replaced in the existing wiring do you want or if acceptable to tdc and historic england if 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 the budget allows could to re, uh, replace the festoon lighting with new yeah. Could I suggest rather than putting that level of detail into mm -hmm. the motion that it's actually we accept the 49,999 um, on the basis that we will fund the rest of the costs in the most economical way uh, to, to get the most out of it that we can. How does that? And then, and then we, we give Rebecca by that a certain amount of 
leeway, leeway to to get the best out of it, um, rather than tying us into we've got to do X, Y, and Z. So um, I don't know. Again, I'm not sure how you want to to word that, but I think I mean the principle is we're still what Anne Marie has just said. Um, but it's just mm -hmm. getting the wording to give Rebecca the most right. flexibility in De delegating getting the power to absolutely oh. yes yeah delegate that's wonderful I like that thank you <laughs> delegating the power to, to Rebecca don't you feel empowered um, if, that, if it's okay to yes. just mention we did manage to negotiate on big bulbs as we'll call them uh, a three and a half thousand pound discount so mm. this possibly a little bit of leeway on the festivities mm. as well so we can mm. always ask mm. if we buy the two whether they'll give us yeah, a further good. discount because I think I'm sorry I think we're conscious that come Christmas we're going to need some other lights or something we, happen exactly yeah so yeah um, I think it also should be noted that the Ramsgate Town Council's uh, team contribution mm. it could well go up if there's um, yes. if, if, there, if there's more happening actually our own contribution with staffing hours could yes. well go up mm. yes I agree and um, before we, we come back to this hard cash um, now the amount of hard cash that we are putting into this mm -hmm. as the town council um, and compared to the amount of hard cash that we allocated in the town promotional mm -hmm. budget this year. Mm. Um, how does that compare? Uh, I mean, because some of that uh, staff money mm -hmm. is coming out of our town promotion budget, if I'm reading this right. No, you, <laughs> no, you uh, won't. The, the, the RTC staffing budgets you won't, are, are, not, yeah, okay. are not so split into I was just so much on planning, so much on So town how promotion. much of our lighting budget are we actually spending or overspent by? Um, so at the moment, it will be uh, uh, up, up to 20. We're just shy of 20. Yeah. Just shy of 20. So that's all the questions that I asked previously was that. Yeah, I, but I just wanted it, I just wanted it mm -hmm. in a nutshell yeah. there. So um, at the end of it, the, uh, the, the town promotion budget will have zero balance mm -hmm. in effect. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know we, we kind of done all of that, but I just yeah. wanted it in. in yeah repeated in a nutshell so um, I would suggest that at the next town promotion committee meeting in April mm, that's not far yeah. off it is possibly worthwhile then considering um, the fact that w what is going to be switched on at, at Christmas yes exactly and if, if, if there's something else to be found in the year or... Bearing in mind you robbed me of £38,000 last year. Mm. Good. Nice tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do we yes, that, that is something, uh, you know, because yeah. I'm, I'm conscious that we, we are left without any mm. funds and I just wanted that to be 100% clear that we are actually left without any funds for Christmas lighting by doing this um, and we will have to uh, look at how we manage to find some money from somewhere. Let's do that another time. But absolutely we're not going to do that tonight because I think um, I will ask Rebecca and Dean to, or Dean, to um, have a look at the budgets for me before the next town promotion committee meeting. So do you need... Time scales can you do within a year because it says here you have to spend money we've actually got to spend it by the 31st of March this year which is why it's linked the works by no I think that's six months this vacation I meant to be six months or by the um, or by the 31st of March 2024 yeah, but and it's that's the goal we are. Yeah. yeah. That's why we have a meeting nice. tonight. <laughs> yeah, extraordinary meeting. Why though? Why would you book? Because it's this. Because the because the HS has um, anything that's not spent by the thirty first of March twenty twenty four is um, lost and goes back to the government. This is. Works must be measured in six months. The day the is otherwise The works must be completed and copies of the final receipt of the council's regular payments. That's good. 
received in one year the date of this letter, all by the 31st of March. Whichever date is the earliest. Yeah. And the 31st of March 2024 is the earliest. This, I, think what, I think what this is, is, is a, a standard letter that has been being used for three years. Of, of the of the project of the, the yes it's I, I, I think it's it's standard letter that they've been used since the beginning of the has funding and so therefore um, we're coming in right at the end yeah I know it's it does it does but it's not clear is it it could be next year well that's what it says but it's a legal document but whichever is the earliest it has to be the thirty first of March this year and that's why we we're here tonight for an extraordinary meeting so. Um, yeah. Am I right in thinking that it's acknowledged that we're not going to have these up by the 31st of March, but we do need to have the lights yeah. in our hands by the yes, 31st of March? The works must commence within six months of the date of the letter, so I suppose that's okay. Yes. And this will change that bit as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is a legal document, Helen. You know, that's inaccurate in that case. Sorry, it is. It's inaccurate. I think it's just a standard letter they've been using for three years. Oh, and um, I, I did, yeah. yeah. Just, to, just to say it has been an incredibly quick process. Yes, and <clears throat> and um, yeah, this has to be drawn up. Super fast. Mm. So I assume it has to be under fifty grand. So that's why yes. that doesn't If it's if it hits fifty grand, then it has to go through another layer of process. So that's why it's. I was talking to Lucia earlier as well. So it's forty nine 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 for that reason. Yeah. Does that spend on something else? It has to be on lights. I think well, Rebecca and I already had that conversation. It is pretty much this or, or chuck it. Yeah. Is this way or pie way? I think it it could have been other things could have been considered if there was more time available. Whereas TDC were aware of the fact that lighting is something that we were hmm. looking to address and had some budget for, and it had been something that yes, we say for streets had already been discussed. So I think it was felt that this was at very short notice could be pulled together quickly in in the remaining few weeks of the the year. Hmm. Of us. Indeed, spend the money by the end of the year. Yes. Well, as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> we want the lights up soon. Yeah. Do, do we need to just check the wording of the motion now we've played around with it and then um, we can confer? I, I mean, I think we're all pretty much in agreement that we go with this project. Um, uh, so, to uh, except the High Street House Decorative Lighting Project proposal and to delegate to uh, Town Centre and Tourism Manager Authority to uh, proceed in the most economical way with the project. Are you happy with that? Depends what you mean by most economical way. I'm not sure I that. Okay, we'll take, we'll take a pause for, for thinking time. I think, I think it needs to be... Uh, I don't want it to come back on Rebecca. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I don't want us to be on the other side of that, because that's not Rebecca's fault. Do you know what I mean? So she's going to come to one way or the other. And I think it needs to be us. So I think if we, instead of the town manager say and Town promotion, promotion committee. Exactly, yeah. you know, or, or something, the town promotion committee, not just Rebecca, I don't think that's right. Yeah. If the committee is going to have um, further authority in the matter, it then requires us to have committee meetings. Right. And so I think with the, the time scales that are available, there there isn't time to be bringing to be calling more extraordinary meetings in the, in the coming And I appreciate that, so let's not do that. I just, I didn't want it falling on Rebecca's shoulders, effectively, do you know what I mean? For one reason or another. If it's the only way we can do it, then fine. 
the oh, town in clerk it, I was going to say, in a sense, Re- Rebecca is supervised by the town clerk, yeah. so anything Rebecca yeah. does is has to be signed off by the town okay. clerk. Um, it's quite often the, the, the case that it'll be an officer in conjunction with the chair and vice chair of the committee. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Your... Okay, yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. That, that puts me and, and uh, Corinna yeah. in it. If yeah. That's, yeah, okay. Nice, nice big grin there from Rebecca as well. So, yeah, no, I, I mean, my, my concern is that the timescales are not yeah. there to keep holding committee meetings. Yeah, no, no, I agree, and, uh, I agree. I just didn't um, want it to be, some say, well, why would you do yeah. or some say, well, it's got the wrong it's her fault. You know, either way, you know, it's just yeah. it's not fair. I agree. I mean, at the end of the day, if, if she doesn't do it right, we've delegated it, and it comes back to us for being wrong to delegate it. I'm sure that won't happen. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, the, the, yeah, you are sat there. Right. Then? Okay, good. Yeah. Um, okay, I think we're all agreed. <laughs> Thank you very much. In that case... Um, Sit for everything but not the phone. <laughs> is there anything else that we need before we go? The, I mean, we know that the date and time of the next um, town promotion committee meeting is the 10th of April. At seven, um, that's not changed, so uh, that's it. Okay, it's over. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here. Much appreciated. Thank you.